my beautiful Mercedes that I imported from Japan, I wanted to change the interior. So I decided to find a guy that could do the interior on it and change it completely. Wow, 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 wow. We get inside, try and turn it on and it dies. So I'm feeling really rubbish at this moment because I've been waiting such a long time to get my car back. Should we just go back and just try it one more time? No way, mate. So we couldn't get the car started, so we decided to call down the recovery agents and get those guys to either fix it or trailer it back to Manchester. Life's over. Life is over. Wait, what's that? Let me just lie in my interior one last time. So now I was given some kind of time scale from the breakdown guys, and they're saying it could be like till midnight. But we've got a small baby and you can't expect customers to wait with a small baby in the freezing cold, snow and everything for that long. Basically the deal is right, we have to wait four hours in Durham until like a mechanic comes to assess my vehicle and then if he assesses that it needs to be trailered, we're going to have to trailer it back to Manchester and I don't know what time that'll be. <laughs> So it's not going well this journey so far. I mean, the journey here was fine, but the car's gone kaput. I can't believe it. You can't even tax it because the DVA doesn't register, it, register, register the plate. You can't tax it, which means you can't drive it anyway. And then the car broke down and refuses to start. So it's kind of good that it broke down. Because if you can't tax it, you wouldn't be able to get it home, so it'd be stuck here. Like if it's broken down, it can come back to us. We can keep it in the store. Every cloud has a silver lining, doesn't it? Hey! <laughs> you want to try it? Gonna do it to you. There we are, complaining about having to wait all day. And Jaden's just a trooper taking it in his stride. I feel like, like my emotions, from high to low, yeah, it's drained me. I feel drained. I feel drained and upset and angry. At least it looks good. It looks good, but it doesn't drive, does it? <laughs> what should we do? We might as well see what Dur what the finest Durham has to offer. I like this. It fits me perfect <laughs> as well. Yeah, I love this. I can't believe you. What? You serious? Yeah, we fit nice jeans, jeans and nice shoes. <clears throat> hey, this. Jack's so cold. He's gonna buy a woman's coat. <laughs> The only good thing to come out the 12 hour round trip was a lovely woman's coat that I bought, which is going to make a lovely Christmas present for my mum. Hey. Hey. hey, this is proper oh, nice. It's oh, really nice. It fits a bit. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think this would be as good as it is. No way, this shop is brilliant. Wow, it's really good quality. This that shop is, is amazing. Yeah, it's, a, it's a leather one, because my one is a leather one, it feels the same. You know, this the shop one is with incredible, isn't it? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, that's nice. That is Proper. That's nice, that. I can't believe we've come here to buy clothing while we're here. Why? Don't hey, we've, we've got to wait money. for the breakdown to get here, so we might as well have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just second thoughts now after buying this. After my money's already gone, it's like a bit. It's a bit spacious, you know. Oh, do you think? Yeah. Do you think, yeah? But it keeps warm, innit? <laughs> so, what's happening right now, yeah, is seeing we're having to wait, we might as well take Argy for a quick walkie walkie, right? Argy, we're going for a walk, buddy. Guess what? It's freezing. We've literally just walked from like there to here, and I'm already cold. I didn't expect Durham was so cold. It was snow everywhere. It felt like we came to a different world compared to Manchester. Hey, what the hell's there a horse there for? I don't understand why there's a horse there. I don't, I don't understand, like my brain doesn't comprehend these things. What I don't understand is, why is there a horse there? Why? What's going on? 
hi, can you say hi? Can I stroke you? Can I stroke you? Can I stroke you? Oh, don't be any harm. Oh, you good, are you? You're so cute. Hey, are you a baby or are you actually a pony? Who are you? Hey, why are you here on your own? Why is he here on his own? It's so nice to see a little pony. He was like a little angel. He eats our pain a little bit. So our friends at the REC have turned up to check whether the car can be fixed or whether it needs to be trailered away. Okay, the, uh, the car number is... So while the guy's there checking out my car, I figured I'll go on the phone and try and tax the car. If I can tax it and the guy can fix it, we can drive it home. So it's now night time. The guy's come and he's taken it for a little spin and it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it, so, like, what the hell? We don't even know so why... Should I risk it? No, I'm not going to risk it. Let him drive it a little bit and he'll see that it'll cut out on him. Oh, man. It's going to be a late one tonight. I went for a drive with the mechanic, but actually he couldn't find any issue with the car. Probably about four months ago. Same thing, the same same thing. Crank, crank I can't believe the, the car is fine. Yeah. And it was, the got it in the place. Yeah. Nothing and wrong at all. Exactly no, no, running yeah, smoothly and everything. If it does fall again, yeah. obviously brings up. It's completely fine. Yeah. What we'll do is, right from here, yeah. um, I'll lead. Yeah. You follow me. So the guy said, Okay, if it gets warm, just follow me down the road and see if it cuts out. If it doesn't cut out, you can drive home. And just as we're pulling away, lo and behold, it cuts out. It's doing it, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. It's a cut out. Yeah. So we got from there to there and it's died and now, at least the guy didn't drive away, eh? And I have to be here for the recovery. Yes. I live 120 miles away. Do you know these cars? Know a bit about them. How much of a headache they are. So the guys told us that we have to wait for the recovery to arrive. And that could be any time. So all we had to do was just wait and hope. Did he give a average time or did you see what it could be? He didn't, he said they don't know. I'd suggest we either go somewhere, maybe get a bit of dinner or something in a bit. But as long as we're kind of within 15 minutes of here, we'll be all right. The mechanic suggests we should leave Daniel on his own to wait for the recovery truck. But we decided to wait with him because it was too cold for him to wait on his own. Probably good, you know, if it's like, okay, if it's an hour or something like that. If it's an hour, yeah, sure then the literally like we can just go. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, you guys can go. We'll we go, have to wait. We'll get back. It'll probably take us, what, two hours to get back? Yeah, two and a bit hours. So if it takes us two hours to get back? About nine-ish. It's going to be quite late. This is a disaster, isn't it? It's not the end of the world, though, is it? It is what it is. It's a disaster. We're here. <laughs> is this day ever going to end? <coughs> it feels like a very long day. It does, it feels like. We've been out for about two weeks. <sighs> here we are in Durham. Hi, Ricky. I bet there's some scenic locations around this kind of this part of England, isn't there? Where's the uh, Stonehenge? <laughs> Nowhere near here. <laughs> oh, Where's the Eiffel that. Tower? That's, that's, in, that near that's in Paris. Uh, in that's Paris. in Las Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> they got a fake Paris Tower, <laughs> Eiffel Tower, oh. in Las Vegas. Why is it called Eiffel Tower? I bet. Just came to me. 
Go on. I bet it's because Eiffel is like an eyeful. It's like fills your eye with the size of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah that's so we waited for such a long time and finally the recovery truck turned up to take away my car back to Manchester. So yeah, I'll tell you what the mileage is good. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 56, that's for six kilometers. Kilometers, yeah, so it's only on about 35,000 miles. Finally. Finally What's the guys happening? turned up and now my baby's gonna get launched onto the van. Stupid. It's been hours and hours and hours and it's freezing cold. My baby, I might, I might name her a good name. Oh. It's so nice to see the interior and the condition of it, but it's such a shame to have it in that condition, don't you think? Yeah. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to see it go on the truck. To see my car on the trailer was emotional. It was a heart-wrenching experience. I feel like from this journey, seeing snow, seeing purple velour, seeing my son freeze to near death, it's changed me as a human being. And I realize now what's important in life. And what is important in life is not a five litre V8 Mercedes. It's not purple velour, but it's having those people around you that you really care about. It's having experiences that last for a lifetime. It's not about purple velour that perishes over time, that moths.